Now I may look like the headless concertina player, but that's deliberate because I want you to be able to see my bellows. I'm going to play an Irish polka called the Top of Mal, uh, Mal and um, I'm going to basically use uh, the equivalent of paired fiddle bowing, and I'm going to start halfway out with my concertina. Start that again for you. the top of Mayo um, and I was using uh, um, I was changing the, the tune is in 2-4 so I was changing after every crotchet or every pair of quavers more or less not entirely sometimes I was varying it slightly I might have on one occasion played three notes um, but that was the general idea um, and I just think it makes it marginally more rhythmical by um, reversing the bellows and it seems to me it helps the actual phrasing it makes it more like a, what a fiddler might not, not didactically play because obviously every fiddle player varies their bowing um, and so really when you look at the Anglo Unless you use a lot of uh, finger attack on the English concertina, the Anglo is going to be naturally more rhythmical because you're reversing bellows more frequently. So there you're actually reversing the bellows twice as much as you might normally do. You see, you could play it like this. So I played all those notes going out one way. It's still rhythmical, but it doesn't sound quite the same. Now, now I'll play reversing, similar to paired bow. Neither way is wrong or right, but they're just different, and sometimes it pays to experiment a little with the bellows. So I hope that's um, helpful to you. I have a concertina tutor available at www.dickmiles.com. Um, this is really aimed for beginners. I'm sure advanced players know about all about this already. So I wouldn't want to teach my grandmother to suck eggs, but it's just um, trying to help beginners to maybe try out different things. What I would also suggest you do, if you're really beginning, is to take a scale of C major and play all eight notes on the pull. So. Now try it. 
four and four. <laughs> Now try it in pairs. Now try three, three and two. And any other combination that you like to think. That way you'll just become familiarise yourself with um, changing bellows direction and just getting control of the bellows. So there we are. Hope that's helpful for you.